put a lot of infrastructure along the coast that was not built to any code or standard or zoned properly, and we paid for it. And we're paying for it now. Eighty percent of our city is destroyed. It's as though our life ended on November 9th and started over. I live in a house now. It's not my home. You know, I am grateful to be alive and that everybody's safe, but there is something said to have a home and, and not a house. We always hope that disasters are a wake-up call, but we're getting pretty used to them in a way, because every year we have disasters and they multiply. Uh, this was called the yo-yo fire. You're on your own. We've never had a storm of this magnitude. And nobody's ever had a storm of this magnitude. In this country, we are very op optimistic being, in a sense. You know, that's that make us, I think, great country, great people we are, right? But at the same time, that optimism makes kind of feel invincible. And that's wrong. We are on a trajectory that we cannot stop, but we can slow it down. We really don't know to what standards uh, our homes and communities are being built. What I would tell people is that you should look very closely at what the actual risk is you know, where you've decided to live. You know, there's a risk living in this great country, and we have to figure out how to adapt and become resilient based on what Mother Nature throws at us. We've got to stop this insanity where we design to the bare minimum, build, have Mother Nature destroy it, we rebuild, only to have it happen again in